Hey students, this is your hints video for lesson 8.1, circles and circumference. So first you have several problems where you need to find either the radius or the diameter. So number five was probably one of the harder problems. They give us that the diameter is three and a half inches. We need to find the radius. So the radius will be one half times three and a half inches or times seven halves inches. So the radius will be 7 fourths inches or 1 and 3 fourths. And of course, if they give us the radius, we'll just multiply by 2 to find the diameter. Next, we have several problems where we are given either the radius or the diameter, and we're just asked to find the circumference. So we're going to use either the equation circumference equals 2 pi r, or we can use circumference equals pi d. They mean the same thing because 2r means the same thing as diameter. So in this case, because we are given the radius, I'm gonna use this equation. And my circumference equals two times pi times seven. Um, pay attention to what it says to round to. For number 10, it says to round to the whole number. Some of them it says, to round to the tenth, so just be careful with that. On this one, because I'm working with seven, multiples of seven, I feel like it might be a good one to use 22 over seven as my approximation for pi. So if I have 14 over one times 22 over seven, I can simplify, and I can see that my circumference is about 44 inches. Now, if I used 3.14 for pi, I would get something very, very close to 44 inches. To the nearest whole number, it would still be 44 inches. Okay, next we have a few problems where you are finding the perimeter of a semicircle. So when we do the perimeter of a semicircle, we first need to find one half of the diameter. That's this round part. That's one half times pi times d plus we need to do this straight edge. In this case, that's three. So to the nearest hundredth, I have one half times 3.14 times three plus three. I'm gonna use my calculator here. Three times 3.14 times 0.5. So this first part is 4.71 plus my three, my perimeter is 7.71 feet. Okay, next I have a series of problems where I need to find the circumference of two different circles to the nearest tenth. And um, I'm not gonna work through the whole thing. So for 17, I'll go ahead and find the circumference, but the rest of them, I'll just kind of help you find either the diameter or the radius. Um, let's see, do I have an orange? Oh, I've got a yellow, I'll use that for my uh, orange circle here. So for my orange circle, the circumference will be uh, two times pi times r, where my radius is five. So that's gonna be two times pi times five, which will be 10 pi, which will be about 31.4 to the nearest 10th. That's gonna be right. And for my blue circle, I see that my radius will be five plus five. So my radius here is 10. So if I use two pi r, that's two times pi times 10, or 20 pi, which will be 62.8 centimeters. Put centimeters on my other one too. And I think I have these in the wrong order here, so just to double check, this one here is the orange circle that goes second, and this one here is the blue circle, that one goes first. Okay, my next one for number 18, I'm not gonna work all the way through this, but I will help you find the radius of each of the circles. So for the yellow circle, our radius is um, whatever the radius of the purple circle is plus 
2.5. So let's first find the radius of the purple circle, which will be half of 9, right? So half of this, that's 4.5 feet. And for the yellow circle, I'm going to do 4.5 feet, that's a radius, plus 2.5. So the radius of the yellow circle will be 4.5 plus 2.5, which is 7 feet. So we can use our known equation of circumference equals 2 pi r for each of these to find the circumference to the nearest hundredth. Um, keep in mind, you're going to round to two decimal places on those. All right, for this next one on number 19, it looks like they're giving us um, the radius of the green circle here. That's 22 meters. So the radius equals 22 meters. So you can go ahead and figure out what the circumference is by using 2 pi r, where r is 22. Keep in mind you're rounding to the nearest hundredth. And for the blue circle, it looks like for the blue circle, the diameter is the same as the radius of the green circle. So the diameter is 22, which means that the radius of the blue circle will be half of that. That will be 11 meters. So again, you're gonna use C equals two pi r and round to the nearest hundredth. All right, and then this last problem here, we have this bent wire that forms four semicircles. One, two, three, Four. Okay, so those are four semicircles, um, and each semicircle then will be one half of pi d, two pi r or pi d. In this case, we see that the diameter of each of those half circles is 32, so we're going to do four times one half pi d, and we're going to use 32 for d, so four times one half times pi times 32. We can simplify that. 4 times 1 half is 2 times pi times 32. And I'll have you simplify it from there. Remember, we're going to the nearest hundredth. And on this one, we should definitely use that pi is 3.14. I don't know that you'll get it to the nearest hundredth if you use 22 over 7.